Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to see how we can perform OpenAI search uh, on the cognitive uh, search with the .NET code. In the previous video, where we have done the setup of the OpenAI and we have seen like how we can perform or uh, how we can do the deployment model with the OpenAI. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series so you can understand like how this operation is happening. So first part, like first what we have to do, we have to do the integration or we can say the configuration of OpenAI with our .NET application. So for this one, what we have to do, we have to take these three things called OpenAI base, OpenAI key and OpenAI deployment ID. So these three things is needed to get the configuration or the integration between OpenAI and the cognitive search based on the .NET Core application. So from where we are getting this one? So this open AI base is coming from here. Now everything you have to get from the key and endpoint. So if you will go here, you can see this is the endpoint. So this you have to copy and put it here. And this is the open AI key. And this is coming from the key one or key to any key you can take. So I have taken the key one. So this part we have put here and the next is the open AI deployment ID. So this is like in the previous video, what we did in the previous video, we have created the deployment ID. So that name we have to put it here. And this is the name like I have copied from here, which uh, like I have created. So these three things we have to do the setup here. Now the next part, what we have to do in the Azure AI search service, what I have done, I have created one method. And in that method, what I have done, I have written the logic to perform that operation. So before that, like I have taken all these value in this um, three variable related to like whatever we have the configuration setting. Next, like before performing this operation, what we have to do, we have to download this azure.ai.openai. This is the class which I have taken. Like this is the file which I have taken. Here. Now the next thing we have to call the object of open AI client and it take two parameter. One is the AI uh, API base and another is the credential. So this is the key and this is the URL which we have to call and then I'm just calling create chat completion option. So here in this method what we have to do we have to do or we have to take the options related to the data like uh, what what is the uh, chat completion option inside that azure chat extension option and we have to give the endpoint index name search key because this is related you can see it is related to the cognitive search so these things we have to write to perform this operation so all these things we have to write it here now this code if you want if you go on this deployment let's go to the deployment and if you will go in the uh, open in playground when you will go here so this part we seen in the previous video and here we added the data source now it got reset so here when you will add the data source here you will see the code part so this configuration you can see from here like view code so here you can see the sample code now you can select the c -sharp. and this is the same configuration which we have done there it is uh, the same code so you can get this code from here and according to you you can get the configuration here as well so i have done the, this all this setup and initialize message like i'm just adding the uh, message to here so this is the configuration which i have done now the next thing which i did that is the search result by uh, open ai so this is the method and here you can see i'm just calling everything so here chat message basically i have selected user based on that it will give the output to us next I'm just calling the initialize message which I have implemented here and the next thing I'm just calling the method called get chat completion async so this method I'm just calling and in this I'm just passing the deployment ID and the options which I have selected and all these options is basically like we are adding here like inside this one so once you will uh, come out from this one I'm just calling it from here this new method previous one I have commented this method I'm just calling and I'm from this one like from here we get the content and I'm just printing that output so to see this output let's run this application now with the open AI like 
with the cognitive search what we are getting we are getting lot of data as a response but when we will search with this open ai basically the integration with cognitive search and the open ai it will give us the accurate data as we want so that we are going to see in this um, like application like it should give the data as expected so i'm just selecting first what is shisha when i will click on this one what it should do it should give me the result as expected and we can see it is giving accordingly and it is giving the references in top one now let's select like uh, what is uh, like angular 50 if we are having any information uh, in our document regarding this one it will give so what it is saying like the retract document do not mention anything about angular 15 the latest version of angular is 12 please let me know if you have any questions this is the information i have given in our document and accordingly it is giving the response so with the open ai what it is happening like it is giving the result as expected and this is the way what we can do we can do the integration uh, the open ai with the cognitive search using the dot network so that's it for this video if you have any question in doubt please comment thank you